What's up everyone, this is Ken Tanak of Wish for Fish, and in this episode, I am back in Belize at Tarpon Key Lodge, and in this time, I'm bringing someone with me. What's up everyone, I'm really excited because today, I get to invite a good friend of mine to a trip of a lifetime. Hey man, what's up? Yo. What up? What's up, brother? Pack your bags, bro. You're f***ing man. <laughs> I'm not, man. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, dude. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man. Then, uh, I don't even know what to say, dude. Holy <laughs> this is gonna be badass. <laughs> dude, this is gonna be insane. Oh my god. What's up everyone? I am back in Belize and I am back at Tarpon Key. This time I was lucky enough to bring along a good friend of mine and ambassador Noah Stuttered to catch his first permit on the fly. Now we're gonna have six days of guided fishing and not only that but we also have some DIY fishing going on and we tacked on a couple more days so we could experience some other things that Tarpon Key has to offer like snorkeling and also spear fishing. After being away from Belize last year, it was good to see my good friend Carlito, and also I had to let Noah experience some good old Belizean island life. He is an absolute island ninja and just possesses skills that you just can't even believe until you see it with your own eyes. No matter how many times I do it, there is really nothing cooler than drinking a coconut out of a tree that you snagged yourself. And now it's time for rest and get ready for the week. I was really excited because this was the first time that I was paired up with Tarpon Key's head guide, Ernest Garcia. Unfortunately, I only had him for one day, but we made the best of it. Where? Where, where, where? Right there, on the right. This tarpon was so close, I had no more line to strip set, so I had to try to trout set him. Luckily, he missed, and I actually casted in the direction away from the boat and got him to take the fly. Get him. There you go. Get him. <sighs> I didn't get wrapped around a prop. No, no, yeah. Dude, he took off, dude. dude. Come on, everybody. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Here I go, my man. Yeah! <laughs> Now our main target species was permit, but they were not cooperating, so be prepared to change it up and if you see the opportunity to catch a different fish on the fly, I would take it. Now for the next three days, we're with guide Max Neal and it was good to change it up and see the different styles and technique each guide used to chase permit. Now I know guides would kill me for saying this, but it might be good to change it up every now and then so you can learn different techniques to make you a more well-rounded fisherman. Now with permit fishing, you're gonna see tails and you're gonna get shots, but you really have to make your shots count. And luckily I was there to witness Noah's first permit. I'm under my back and already. I'm shaking my f***ing <laughs> leaf. Look at this. I see that hand. Yeah. 
Yes. That's How's that first permit? We came feel? here for. That's How's what I. That's <laughs> indescribable. Okay. <laughs> I see him. Oh, yep. You didn't see it. He's going away, though. Oh. Set it, set it, set it. Go, let him run. Yeah, I'm good. I don't have much backing. No. no. Uh, I got a little bit. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. Yeah, you might want to go after him. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, if you guys follow my adventures, you know that I love some food. And one thing about this place is it does not disappoint in the culinary experience. I believe so. Trying to dodge that storm over there. You can see that uh, the storm is bringing in a lot of waves and wind, so we're gonna try to uh, escape this storm. Hopefully we can get out and get some more fish. Oh, yeah. We came into this bay, we found some rolling tarpon in here. They're a little bit bigger than what we were catching yesterday, so uh, he's gonna bump up the poundage. What are you gonna put on, 60? 60. Yeah. I put on a 60 pound uh, bite tippet just because he's a little bigger and he's worried that it's going to chafe the line. We have 40, straight 40 right now, but uh, hopefully he's going to get into one of these big boys. Oh, yeah. What happened? I got a fish. Really? Yes. Oh! You don't think it is? <laughs> Give him a couple more set. Well, you you should have put him straight. Right at me. Yeah, he was, that's yeah. he's coming right at when me. When the fish coming at you, you jump over on this side and start swimming that way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's four o'clock. We're waiting for these tarpon to hopefully start rolling again. Uh, I think we put them down. We both hooked uh, one a piece in here, and they kind of slowed down since, and the bait ball kind of busted up and moved in separate spots. Uh, it's kind of a slow period, but I'm kind of a little beat up. So um, doing a little energy boost. And I highly recommend these uh, Goo uh, shots. And it's kind of like, it's 100 calories, but it's got um, 20 milligrams of caffeine and amino acids and sodium, and it's really good. I actually used to use these uh, for endurance sports. So I kind of just uh, adapted this to this. I mean, if it's kind of, it's not really endurance as in running marathons, but I have been fishing since six o'clock this morning. So if you need a little energy boost, I highly suggest this. Plus, you know, it's easy to carry. You can carry it with you and you don't have to refrigerate or anything, you know, so it's money. I like to add that I'm not a sponsor to this, so uh, Goo, if you're watching this, you know, you, you 
could like hook me up with some freebies or something. <laughs> I don't think it's a tarpon. We'll take a jack in there. Though, you? I will. I mean, whatever it is, it's a big fish. We'll take I'll it. I'll take this big jack. <sighs> yes. <sighs> All right. <sighs> All right. Think about that. I like it. Now the skies cleared up and we finally had the sun to our advantage so we decided to go for deeper water and see if we could find some permit feeding on some rays. I sped up the, I sped it up a little bit. I'm gonna keep them high, right? Yeah. Now usually you wanna fight a fish with side pressure. Although when you're dealing with coral, you definitely wanna keep the rod tip high, keep the fish out of the coral, and also loosen your drag so that way if you do get stuck in the coral, the line could feed out and doesn't get snagged and snap you off. Yes! Good job. So we were chasing these permit and we saw them feeding on rays. Uh, they nibbled at us a couple times, but we decided to give them a little rest. Went up a little bit and came back and sure enough, it paid off to give them a little rest and uh, they were bitey again. Now for the next two days, we were with guy Dermon Shivers, who I was with from a couple years ago. I really enjoy his style of fishing. It's more of a still hunting or hunt and stock aggressive kind of style. And I really enjoy fishing with Dermon. We fished super hard and had plenty of shots the first day, but we just did not have success and the fish were not being aggressive. And it just happened to be a full moon. And some say that the full moon, they do feed at night and they're just not quite as hungry during the day. And there might be a little bit of truth to that. So we're enjoying this beautiful boat ride in sunny Belize. I mean, look at this, paradise, paradise. This is how wet we got on my 
buff. Super, super clear. Not so much here. He's wrapped in the coral. I don't think you have him anymore. Oh, yeah, he's loose. Is he still on? What? Another coral. Or spook. So it was a slow day on the flat and we only saw a little group and it was really calm so it was really tough and they didn't really come in so we decided to uh, put on a little shrimp and go for some good old box fish. Let me tell you this is a fun species to target on the flats. I mean you're looking for tailors. They put up a pretty good fight and best of all they taste delicious. because it's got little spikes on the end. Yeah. <laughs> right, hold on, let me take it. Oh yeah, box fish, baby. Oh crap, I caught a fish. Oh my God, I got a bonefish. I caught a bonefish. Casting two boxes. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yes! It's a bonita! It's a mackerel! We're taking wish for fish on a whole nother level, and that's... spear fishing. Oh, yeah. Close on with them. Close on like a reject flipper. Um, those are for hyper people. Those are speed... <laughs> Is it? Yeah, man.
My fresh catch of some mackerel. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, we're gonna have some box fish, baby. We had an incredible time messing around with different kind of species around the island, but we were both lucky enough to land our first DIY permit. Now on the very last day, the conditions were perfect. We were able to see for miles, and I was lucky enough to run into a school of permit right in front of the cabanas. Oh my God. School of permit coming your way. Got him. Yeah. No. Hey, look, can I just land this permit, please? So here we are, right next to the cabana. We took the kayaks out, we went to home flat. On the way back, we saw some bonefish, but we happened to see a little school permit. And oh yeah, DYI permit, baby. <laughs> yes! Oh, sir. Came into a shop and looked at it. Oh, yeah. Hello. Okay, so I'm in Placencia. This is my last day, so I'm getting out of here and I had to get a COVID test before I get on the plane. Super simple. You get off the boat right here in Placencia and you just take the test right here, hop on the plane and uh, you get to Belize City. So you'd even take the test before you even leave Placencia. So super easy and convenient. I mean, uh, okay, I wouldn't say convenient, but it's a pain in the butt, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Don't forget to check out our website at wishforfish.com. And if you're on social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. If you're interested in more information in the video, check out the description box below and I'll see you on the water.